Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead by Boopin' the Snoo and today's video is going to be based on a really unique perk and a perk you probably forgot even existed and for a good reason, Grim Embrace. Okay, if you don't know what this perk is, is that every time you hook an other, uh, every time you hook a survivor for the first time you get one token and these tokens won't do anything until you get up to four. So basically you have to hook all four survivors at least once for this to activate. Yeah, it's kind of a grind. If you're going on that good old Dead by Daylight grind simulator, this perk can be pretty, pretty tough. But here's the thing. Is it rewarding? So the reward you get out of it is that the entity blocks all generators for four seconds and you see the obsession's aura revealed to you for five seconds. The, to, at least in my humble opinion, this perk is, it's really cool. Don't get me wrong. It's a really cool perk, but it sucks. In general, it sucks. But why is it actually amazing on Pig? Now I'll get into that right now. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to describe the build. This is just my default Pig build. I will describe one add-on though. So here's the build. You got Leave the Pursuer, Save the Best for Last, Jolt, Crate of Gears. If you want, pause, read all of that. But we're going to have rule set number two. This makes it that disables the survivor's ability to see Jigsaw boxes highlighted until their trap is activated. This is really good. So when you put a head trap on survivors, because here's the thing, you know how I said this perk is really grindy? This perk is going to make it where, or th this add-on and this one, is going to make it where survivors have a longer time of dealing with the head uh, with the headset boxes. So the strategy, what you're going to do, is that you're going to have, you're going to hook three survivors individually. You're going to hook three survivors for the first time. Make, make sure before you hook them, always put a bear trap on them. If you stumble upon the fourth person, you're going to slug them and put a head trap on them. And you're never going to hook the fourth survivor to activate this perk unless every single survivor has their trap off besides the person that needs to be hooked for this perk to activate. You're going to see in the first match, it actually worked wonders. It worked so well. Like the cards were completely in my favor. And it's really cool. You're going to see how, how strong this perk gets. So why is this perk really strong on Pig? The reason is because Pig is, like, even though she's one of the worst killers in the entire game, what she does have is 4v1 pressure in the form of time management and tables. So, if you guys played Pig, including me who has played countless of hundreds of hours on Pig, when you have four, uh, when you have four head traps on each survivor, the game is never going to progress on the survivor's end. They're going to be at a stall while, you're, while your hooking is going to be accelerated in your objective. However, once every single bear trap is or head trap is gone, even if there's one left, you'll notice that the gens are going to start to fly. They are going to fly so quickly. It's actually kind of surreal. This perk actually makes it where that you, you get an extra 4v1 pressure again in the sake of time managers so like i said when all of the survivors bear traps are gone out of like gone you're gonna hook the fourth survivor and every single journey is gonna be blocked for 40 seconds and the reason why i said it's best to make it where three survivors have their head traps gone before you hook at the last person and make sure the last person has the bear trap still active is because when that survivor eventually becomes unhooked by the time, realistically, Grim and Brace might be kind of being close to being over. And because of that, the, the survivor that just got out of the hook has to get that bear trap off or they're going to die. And because of that, you are it's going to be a 3v1. And if you're able to down another survivor, you're going to be having 2v1 pressure constantly until the other survivor gets the trap off or they die. And this is... And you're going to see this perk becomes extremely game-changing once you play it like that. Obviously, the worst thing you can do with this perk is when you have four survivors with a bear trap, I don't care how much pressure you have, even if it looks like the game is completely in your winning favor, do not hook the fourth survivor when all bear traps are active because this makes Grim and Brace so redundant and completely unnecessary that this situation... That you thought was completely unwinnable for the survivors is actually probably going to get flipped onto you where the match is going to become unwinnable for you because as pig without your traps you have absolutely no 4v1 pressure even if you're amazing at hit and wanting as pig your 4v1 pressure is going to dissipate and hopefully these matches can shed to light on what i'm talking about uh the 
coal tower. The Macmillan Estate. All right. In my opinion, this is one of the most fairest maps in the entire game. Oh my god, do you think that guy saw me already? I saw his head tilt. No, he's a pursuer. It's kind of hot. Okay, this guy's already going to know I'm here. He's the obsession. So here's the thing. Do we want to... Uh, we can get this pallet out of the way. All right, let's mind game it. You ready? I got stuck right there. That's not good. <laughs> hey. I don't know why. When that mind game works like that, it's so funny. Nice. You got dead art. You're going to greet it? No? Okay. Really good pallet out of the way. Dude, how do you blind my eyes? I'm wearing a... I'm wearing a goddamn pig mask. Two people around here. 100%. That was a sprint burst on that lady. You gotta have balance landing or something. Why are you doing this to yourself? She gonna try to fastball out the window? No. Oh my god. I How did I just... I, did I just Danny way that? Did I just like skateboard or glide on that? Oh, it's already healed. I think I just, I think I just pony hawk that. <laughs> All right, you're the obsession, so I want to hit you with my booping attack. Okay, probably not gonna happen since you're running towards Killer Shack. Uh, actually, if I can catch you with the mind game inside the building. Nice. I don't know what the hell that mind game I was trying to do. Oh, 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 God, I can't believe I hit, I can't believe I got that. Ugh, I should have lunged. Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, dude, I feel like such an idiot. You know what the worst part is? That would have been the perfect time to actually use my booping attack, and I just messed it up. That was, that was like a huge mistake I just made right there. Oh, that might cost me. It'd be funny if it does, though. You're quiet. Why are you so quiet? It's not It's not Iron Will because you're exhausted. You're, I, that just might be Ronaldo being Ronaldo. Heal. Oh. It sounded like you just gobbled on some mayonnaise or something. 99% this sounds like. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. They're probably... Yeah, I, was, I knew it. They're probably going to try to beat me to the hook main building i would assume right yeah no I, good thing i made a dead zone out of this middle area because the guy used the pallet even when i play survivor if i'm about to go down i don't use the middle pallet but it's on that shoo 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 okay maybe she wasted a sprint burst or two she did sicko mode right there window 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 yes Knew it. Uh, who's the last one? Called it, right? Nice. Yeah, always, if you can, every time there's a wall, always hide your red light. Because, like I said right there, like it makes, like, survivors will go sicko mode for a quick second, and that will give you uh, the amount of, amount of distance right there. If she did not go sicko mode right there, who knows? Maybe she would have felt confident to stay at the pallet, but no, she felt a lot of confidence to. She knew I mind gamed a lot, so she was like, oh, uh, going for the window. They're not going to expect it. Uh, aren't you wrong, though? Okay, there's, like, two gens that are, like, 99. I think that's completely fine. These guys are playing the game I want them to play, where they're, uh, they're not gonna disarm their traps. They could be looking for it. I don't mean the camp, but there are scratch marks over here. Hopefully you understand. Pallet? What the hell are you doing? Uh, I don't think you make it, unless there's a pallet right to the right. Oh, of course there is. Nice. You got sprint burst, so... I don't have to wait for no deadhead. Oh, uh, here's the thing. We're going to put a trap on you. And we're going to leave you. Because we're going to save Grim and Brace, baby, for the time we need it. Yeah, so everyone is an active trap. And I have the add-on where they can't see traps anywhere. So the traps that aren't blatant, like these two, they probably don't know where any of the other traps are. You going to the window? Yeah, I knew it. Where you going, girl? You're staying here. Nice. Dude. Always, always, when you're mind gaming, including for killers like Pig or M1, always throw a curveball play every single time. <laughs> you notice I did a different mind game here, and I didn't go like, 
let's do it again. We're, 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 because as you saw, she camped the pallet because she thought I was going to do the same thing again. Always throw curveball plays as much as you can. <clears throat> down the three generators, but I think these survivors are going to be down to three survivors if you catch my drift. It's not looking so well for them. That was a sip thing or something. I don't know what that was. Sorry, but I'm going to slug you again. No hard feelings, but that's just the build. Gee, gee. That was an easy stun on me. That was an easy stun. I don't know why she did not throw the pallet down. I think she thought I would respect it. But no, that pallet, you always want out of the game because it connects to a really strong window. Hey, we could do a mind game right here. You ready? That's what you sound like, Ronaldo. Beautiful. Now we can hook you. It's all going according to plan. I'm going to keep that pallet down because I know that mind game is going to work on everyone else. And if this person's there again, I'll just do a different Gerbo play. I know two different ways of mind game. Actually, three different ways to mind game when the pallet's down. Okay, so if everyone besides the Claudette has her trap off, that's what I'm going to do it because I want Claudette. Okay, it was right here. No, it's Claudette. Nice. Go and try to go back to the pallet. Yeah, trying to intercept that. Yeah, see, it, perfect. Michaela just got her trap off. So now we're going to hook this person, trigger Grim and Brace. Oh, yeah, tap that. You're not even going to make it to the pallet since you tap that. Nice. Dude, that one tap. That one tap did that to you. And here we go. You guys ready? So now, Pig, because I have no traps on anyone besides the person I'm picking up, which sucks, right? But now I'm going to get Grim and Brace. So these guys are going to have 40 seconds of playing my game. You ready? Let's go. Boom. So now we know Ronaldo's chilling over there. It looks like he's waiting for a heal, actually. He's just chilling there. What's he doing? He's still chilling there. This person was right here. We did see him. We're going to go over to Ronaldo. Give him a nice slap in the butt. I think he probably gave up. Or maybe because you see his ping is red. So he's probably having a really bad lagging problems. <clears throat> yeah, he, he, he just gave up. He just gave up. Sadly, since this guy gave up, that's kind of a waste over a Grim Embrace. Because we didn't make any pressure usage out of it. But here's the thing. Uh, they're down one survivor. And, and I am really confident in seeing that no other generator is being touched right now. That is music to my eyeballs. And now, since they probably saw the Genesis block, they probably sat here and healed or something, right? Uh, that's a big possibility. Those scratch marks are just faint. So someone ran a head start. Here. They tap this. You. You, girl. Get hard. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I think this is game over, guys. I don't know how they can come back from this. And Claudette still has an active trap. So when Grimmin, that's the strategy. When Grimmin braces over, the last person has a trap on, or the person you slug, now has pressure. So I pretty much have a 1v3. If every survivor was up right now, look, she's about to die. No, she wants me to chase her. She wants me to chase her, so she doesn't die. <laughs> Not gonna work. Not gonna work. She's trying to get me to chase her so she doesn't die from the trap. Okay, we crouch slower than her running speed. So we're actually going to run away from her so she can't catch up. <laughs> and every time we switch directions, we're just going to moonwalk. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that... Yeah, that's her. That's her. The other person's not doing generators. They just died. Oh, they DC'd. Even better, actually. Nice. So like I was saying before, so I have Grim and Brace. When Grim and Brace is over, I still have the kind of 4v1 pressure. And the reason why is, is because Claudette has a trap on her. So I'm pretty much dealing with two other people while one of them is dead on hook or is like on the hook. And if someone is dead on hook, like how the other person was, uh, I still have pressure. I still have pressure. It's, I think it's, I think this perk is so good on Pig. Sorry. Oh, come on, man. Not the blue balls. Uh, GG's. Sorry. Yeah, like, Grim and Race is really good. I think it's really good. Uh, this person has a sip dig. Did they use it? They called it use this. I have no idea. I don't remember. She, she did. I think she did use it. I think so. Oh, yeah, because when I found her around the corner, she used it. She had flip flop boil over. Interesting. So, yeah, flip flop boil over, but no power struggle. Huh. The unbreakable meta. Not really. Yeah, I, I go on to the next one. 
Oh, we got Blood Lodge. Unfortunately, it's not the newer Blood Lodge, so... Hopefully, we're not going to be dealing with a major pallet in the middle. Oh, okay, it looks like... Oh, my God. Yeah, they have pallets everywhere in the middle. This is not good already. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. The Blood Lodge experience. This person probably sees this gen right here, so we're going to sit right here. Maybe. Maybe. Is this person a Meghead? Are they a Tier 1 Meghead? Where are they? Oh, Grimpers? No idea. This person just threw down the pallet. Uh, I think I want to go after you immediately. You're at a TNL. I can mind game this. Ready? A one and a two and a three and a five. Oh my god, you're boning everything. That hard? Dude, I, I can only assume you would have had it. Why are you playing TNLs like that? So ambitious. Kind of like it, though. Should be a hook right here. Yeah, because it's TNL and there's no other pile next to it that has a hook. Beautiful. Uh, no point in crouching. It looks like this person, uh, touched this and went away. Ooh, that could be a brand new part. That could be a brand new part. Unless the other person moved and went to the other one. Hey. Oh my god, do you hear how loud clackety clack her, heel, her heels were? That sounded so loud. Look at the pallets. Oh my lord. Pull back to me. No, I, I want to grab off of you. Oh, that's not good. She kept going. Nice. Vault back. No idea. She, no, she didn't. She could have soul vaulted back. Ooh, that's kind of disgusting, isn't it? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh my god, I almost dropped my mouse. Yeah, dude, she's the obsession. I don't want to chase her. I'll chase you. Uh, strong, uh, strong window is not open on fun bus. That's a really good pallet. Just gone. Do you have sprint burst? Oh, I, I knew you did. That's why I mind games. Oh, man. Not the fun bus. Okay, at least the pallet's gone, so it's not going to be that powerful. More I think about it, that might not have been a brand new part. I think the person that was in the middle gen, they tapped it and they went somewhere. They went to that other generator. Wait. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not. This guy's a flashlight. He had to have been. No, it was Meg. She had a med kit. Is she? I don't remember. Perfect. Oh. Alright. You're gonna flashlight click at me? Are you confident in looping Killer Shack? Okay, I can I'm guessing maybe not. Uh vacuum him out of here. I hear someone over here. There we go. Yeah, she wanted to get the save. How did that miss? How did that hit? That was a big bluff. Huge bluff. You were one of the people I needed the to... Oh, that was a big mistake. You should not have given it given me that down. Uh, which side are you on? You're on this side closest. Again, you can vacuum survivors right out of pallets. Oh, okay. I did that wrong, but she didn't even notice. And she didn't even crawl away. No basement. Hey. Uh, Yeah, I'll put you right here. Uh, Metal Gen has the other person on it, I think. So we need to get we need to get Meg. We need to down the obsession. And we need to slug her. And go after the other people. I got stuck. That sucks. She must know I'm mind gaming. I'm so close to her. Nope. She had no idea. Is there a pallet nearby? No. Okay, survivors, no matter what, no matter how many they how much they 360, they cannot dodge that. Someone literally just fucking died. I can play this. Uh, punch me in the balls. I didn't even press space. Why did Pig just kick the pallet? No. Oh, no. I thought I heard you playing that. It sounds like... It looks like she's running for the save. Oh, oh, oh. She actually was. What are you spinning around so much for? Oh. Here on. Oh, you make that. Uh, what do we do? Do we do a quick mind game? We don't even need to. This guy's trying to go for the save. Man, I tried to protect my sex and I still ate it. What are you guys doing? I think they gave up. Damn. Oh, I got it. I didn't mean to pick up because this person has a flashlight. Yeah. Okay, I was going to maybe pretend to hook her. So maybe he would try to get... Maybe he would get stuck on something. We got Grim and Brace. <laughs> I'm just using it because 
might as well. You know you're looping around the hook person, right? Nice, like that got her. I see the other guy. You know what? Let's just end this game. Uh, these guys are not coming back, no matter how many second chances I give them. There we go. That that sudden flick. Breath, breath, breath. Who's the one that died? It's the first Meg. I'm surprised she died. I mean, that's really lucky. That means I got survivors that just calm foolery around real bit. Actually, that could be the green add-on. Let me see the traps. Look at that. Look at that trap spot up there. They had. They probably had no idea. That one back there. They probably had no idea. That one. That one. They had probably had no idea. This green add-on is so good. I'm. At, but here's the thing. Like it, this add-on, believe it or not, used to be ultra rare. I. I don't think it needs to be ultra rare. I think purple is what it should be because it, it. It can give you some pretty good kills. <clears throat> Like that's crazy because like if the survivors do the gens you are risk you're literally risking killing someone if they don't do the generators they are wasting so much time just to find a trap or like to find the boxes like look at that no who, no one's gonna look up there no one is gonna look up there and like and there's an audio bug in this game where sometimes through floors there's no audio so you know how sometimes as killer you can't hear generators through the floor there's a chance you probably don't even hear that, like, the clicking of the boxes through the floor as Survivor. There is no brand new part. Look at the medkits, though. Man, this team, like, at first glance, they looked really stacked. They're not, they're not, they're really not stacked at all. They have a lot of different perks. I kind of like that. Like, yeah, like, not even a single, almost not even a single copy of a perk here. That is really rare. Autodidact. Yeah, autodidact. Yeah, Resurgence Autodidact is going to be the new meta. Or maybe not meta, but like if the healing changes go live, it's definitely going to be like a meta kind of thing you're going to be running.